Kyle. Kia ora. Thanks for, thanks for talking to Music 101 today. Sweet, no problem. This is, this is your hood, you've brought us to the beach. Yeah, we're here at um, Raumati Beach on the beautiful Kapiti coast. Um, my wife is from here, so that means now I'm from here, pretty much. <laughs> So, where did your DJ name come from? My DJ name came from uh, from writing graffiti. Before I was a DJ, I was I well, I started kind of as a b-boy and then got into graffiti, and graf- and spell was just my name. What got you into the turntabling? What was your first kind of go at having a raku raku? I had a lot of um, older friends, so like I was third form, and I was always friends with like the older kids, so like the seventh formers. A couple guys that were like really into DJing and like trying to get into DJing and so I just kind of followed what they were you know what the cool kids were doing I mean all we had was this tape this instructional Gemini tape that came with the DJ in a box I don't know we kind of just had to figure it out for ourselves it was a lot of trial and error yeah it was was really hard and then you went to DJ school down here yeah yeah that's, yeah, that's right. So, so like, how did that decision come about? Um, so like, fast forward maybe five or six years, uh, uh, I was like, I'm gonna drop out. Of, I told my parents I'm gonna drop out of high school and um and be a DJ. Luckily, I was kind of good at it. My first battle was the DMC 2008 and I came third. Pretty much the last kind of six years has just been battle, battle, battles. Yeah. I've just been in competitions and that's been my main focus. This, this, will prob- this is hopefully my last year of battling yeah, Because I've, I've been battling for five years. I think this year it's, it's, this is my only chance to kind of win. And I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and win. And if I don't, then that's cool. And if I do, then that's cool as well. 